Hey there. Good morning. I thought what I'd like to do today is talk about a funny set of rules that I found. From, uh, the very first Command magazine uh, had Blitzkrieg 41 in it. It came out in 1989, I think, is when. Uh, let's see if it's on the magazine. I've just got the the rules insert. And don't address to your screen. I decided to record in black and white today just because I felt like it. Uh, this game is, uh, I think, supposed to be part of a, a series of titles. I don't know what actually happened to them. I probably could have done some homework and looked those up before we got started, but I didn't. So, really wanted to, wanted to do uh, what I wanted to do today was talk about the the rules and how uh, how the, how they're structured. And at first, I thought when uh, after I read the rules, I thought that well, this must be a magazine that was uh, written back in the time uh, as, a, as a backlash to perhaps uh, the SBI case, you know, uh, fairly brief but concise, concise, brief and accurate SBI rules and uh, putting things into a, a legalistic, you know, uh, and then this was a, a backlash to that, putting it into a more conversational tone. Uh, primarily because at the very front it says, you know, hey, if this is your first war game, read this first, right? Uh, and the, the, the text is extremely wordy. You probably can't see that because of the, the glare, but, uh, and it's not important. But, but anyway, so I, read, so I read these rules thinking that, and it's really probably not, because it's the, the first magazine, uh, this came out in 89, so it's a, you know, well after the demise of SBI, I, I guess, so anyway. Uh, so, you know, there's some cute little jokes in here. For instance, uh, it talks about how you can legally enter units into this certain box that allows you to uh, rebuild units for the Soviets. And it says, you know, to legally do this, to go, uh, pick it up and place the unit in the box. To enter an illegal unit, the same process is followed, but wait until the German's not looking. Okay, ha ha. Uh, there's several of these uh, spread out through the uh, the rules, and there's probably, there's quite a few pages of rules, there's 19 pages. But if you're, uh, you know, if you're one of those OCD guys, uh, and you know you're out there, right, that really follow every word of the rules, you're not going to like this rule book <laughs> with stuff like that in it. So, uh, it, it, it also, it's written uh, for folks that haven't played games before, I think. But it's so wordy and verbose that it's very difficult to get the little nugget out that is the actual rule. And so I think what I'm going to need to do to, in order to play this game, since I've now read the rules one and a half times, uh, I'm probably just going to have to make a summary and just net the rules out. And I'll, I'll try and post those online at some point. I don't know if anyone's even going to play this game. I don't think anyone's played it online. I don't think there's any plays posted for it. Uh, there's no videos. I think I think there's one AAR here. Yeah, there's one user review from 2004. Wargamer 55, God bless you. Uh, so, it, the, so it's, this is verbose, uh, but it does look like an interesting game. And I think that there's, uh, it's got some interesting ideas. The hexes are 76, 75 miles or 76, 73 kilometers uh, in size, exactly. Uh, there's no zones of control. Supply is uh, calculated a little bit differently from most other games. There's a multi-step process for losing, uh, for uh, losses. Uh, you can take losses in the form of uh, retreats or step losses and you can, uh, what else did I find in here that was interesting? It's got, obviously got uh, mobile assaults and things like that. Uh, the overrun mechanic, it, they give it a different name. And you know, combat is a straight up odds deal. But what's interesting is there's a little bit of math involved pretty much for everything because depending on how far away you are from your supply source, you're gonna have to uh, take a percentage of your combat strength. You're also gonna have to take a percentage of your combat strength if uh, you're in a certain type of terrain 
or crossing a certain type of terrain. So rather than go with a doubled or halved or quartered, they've gone with uh, reduce your strength by 10% if you're uh, one hex away from your supply source, reduce it by 20% if you're two hexes away and carried on. And the same with terrain, uh, you know, add 10% to your, uh, I think you add, I'm not sure if you take it off the defend, off the uh, attacker or the defender, or add it to the defender, I should say. Uh, like I said, I've had a quick skim uh, through these. So, I'm going to have to spend some time, which is okay, because I think this will be a fun game. I feel like this will be a fun game. Uh, we'll see. Anyway, I want to share that with you. It's uh, the Command Magazine game, Blitzkrieg 1941. I think you might be getting some glare there, so I won't hold uh, much more of it up. The map is... Uh, I've posted some pictures up on... Facebook, the, the map, and uh, Google Plus, the, the map is stark and has a very heavy black border and anything that doesn't have text on it has, has, is colored black. And so all the font uh, type face is white. So it kind of pops out at you. But there's a lot of dead space that's used. You know, the setup chart is built into the map and all these other, other things. So. We'll see how it all plays out, and uh, I'll, uh, I'll keep you updated. But this will be one of the titles that we'll do through the chronological um, exploration of World War II. Uh, we've done TRC, the Russian campaign. Uh, we'll have a look at this, and I think I've picked uh, a title from ATO to play as well that will help us uh, examine the whole uh, uh, campaign from a strategic level, and then we'll, we'll drop down to operational with... Uh, with some bigger titles that I've already mentioned. All right, talk to you soon.